So welcome back. In the previous video, I went through how to create a schema and I talked about the importance of setting a default schema. Now, one thing I neglected to do in that video was tell you how to set a default schema. So all you have to do from your list of schemas in MySQL Workbench, simply double click on the schema. And once you do that, you'll notice that it becomes bold. And that means that it's your default schema. So once you've done that, you can work with it. So let's go ahead and create a new query tab. You can just click on uh, the icon or you can just go to what I find easier. Just go to the file menu, go to new query tab. Now everything we do inside of this query tab is going to be applied to the chapter three schema because that's my default schema. That's what I have in bold over here. So essentially with SQL, there's a couple of high level functions you need to know. The first of those is create. Now what create is going to do for you is it is going to allow you to make something new. So for example, you could say create a table and then you could name the table something like person. And inside of this, you'd be able to essentially create a person table. You could assign it different uh, sort of uh, attributes, anything that you found necessary. Um, we'll come back and do more examples, uh, but for now I'm just covering the high level functions to know. The second of those is alter. Once you have a table, you may find it necessary to alter certain parts of it. Uh, alter is going to allow you to change perhaps a column, perhaps you could add, perhaps you could take something out. That's what alter is for, okay? Then you have drop. Once you've created a table, you may need to remove the table. You can do that by saying drop followed by the table name. And then finally, you have the delete, okay? And for delete, what you're going to be able to do is you're going to be able to delete things other than tables. So you may choose to delete the entire chapter three schema. Uh, these are the five functions we're going to be focused on for now. In the next video, I'm going to sort of go through how we could create a table. So look forward to seeing you all back then. Hope you have a great rest of the day.